I mean, come on. Hi everyone, my name is Diane and this is my Pink Bathtub Knits. Welcome. Welcome if you're new and welcome if you are a returning subscriber. It is day eight of my Christmas in July series that I have been doing with my friend Kathy, Kathy W from Yarn With Heart. And today we are going to finish another project for the Santa Claus clothesline garland. We've got a gift to open, a question to answer, some uh, deal of the week yarn. <laughs> I don't have deals of the week every week, but it's a deal. Progress on the Santa Claus mittens. Man, I just, yeah. Quite a bit going on. Full disclosure, Hubs and I have been a little ill the last couple days. I have escaped it much more so than he has. So he has not been feeling well and he's been trying to get healthy and so there's no egg sandwich there will be one in the near future and the nook has not gotten his fence yet but uh you know it has been very hot here luckily i film ahead a couple days so i was able to rest myself and um hopefully hubs will be on the men soon you know these things happen let's start with some yarn that i received in my lens mill um, package that I had ordered that sock yarn for, for Alice and I. I'm not gonna show you the sock yarn right now. She will be showing it on her channel if you have not yet checked her out. Soxy Nana Alice, she is my friend. We met years ago on the transit bus when we, I was knitting and she came up to me and was one of those people that sat down beside me and said, what are you knitting? The next time I was on the bus, she was knitting and she was like waving me over to sit with her. And we ended up for quite some time knitting on the bus when we went to work in the mornings. And that is how we met. This is the way the world is. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am the queen of discontinued yarn. I have held that title for many a year. I have always bought yarn when it's on sale. And if it's a really good sale, I tend to buy a lot of it. So it takes me a while sometimes to get through some of that yarn in my collection. And most of the yarn, sometimes I don't really know what I want to do with it right away. But I will, I do eventually use it. Then I discover I like it. And then I discover I cannot buy it anymore. One of these said yarns is from Lion Brand. And the name of it was Wool Spun. Now, I'm not talking about the wool spun that they brought back a couple of years ago for a limited time. I'm talking the original wool spun. This is kind of what it looked like. And I really, really enjoy working with this for my mittens for markets. It is a five weight yarn. It is an acrylic wool blend and it works up beautifully. They had solid colors, but they also had self patterned yarn. And I want to show you an example of it, which I cannot get anymore, but if you know anywhere to get this, these are my cat mittens. And this is made with wool spun yarn. And I ended up scoring 10 more balls of this and was able to make some more for my markets for this season. So when Lens Mill had that sale and I saw the sock yarn on sale, I decided to go through everything else that they had online just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. They still had some wool spun in a color that I wasn't really sure about, but I bought some because it was marked down to $1.35 a ball. $1.35 a ball. I got eight balls of this. This is called forest print. And essentially, if you look at it, it's the green version of this. And I immediately knit up a mitten. I think I'm just going to leave it plain. Unfortunately, one ball does not make a full pair of mittens. So eight balls of it, I might get five, possibly six pairs. But this is the mitten that I knit up with it just last night, the other night. 
think it's a fun kind of just, you know, I can't think of what animal I would want to do in this. Can you? I think I'm just going to leave these ones plain because sometimes you just want to leave them plain. So $1.35 a ball, it doesn't take two full balls to make a pair of mittens. That's a score when you're a maker. I have worked a little bit on my Santa Claus mittens. <laughs> I had to call a friend. I had to call a friend and that friend was Alice. The one to call her and ask her some advice and show her on a video chat what I was doing with these mittens. She does a lot of color work and she uh, is very good at like holding a strand of yarn behind another strand as she works around a project. Now these are not color work per se but I do have I did want to use two strands of yarn because I wanted to make the thumb completely red. This is the example. I remember how I had it white here. This is what it looked like when I was holding the red behind the white and carrying the carrying it around the mitten to keep the thumb red. I hope I'm making sense here. And it didn't look good. And she agreed it did not look good. Just do it in red and then do um, hand stitching over the top of it and do it in with bump still with pearls. So this is what I did. I'm going to only up until this part, this will be the inside of the mitten of the hand, so you're not going to see it. I am going to add white over top of this. I'm going to finish both of them. I know this doesn't really look like anything, but this part here will be white. And I think I might, I don't know. Now I'm thinking this one looks better, but designing something new and trying something new takes quite a while. Um, let's see what I come up with. Questions, questions. How many years have you been a knitter? I've been a knitter since um, 2007. Yeah. So here's how I became a knitter. I'll just share that with you because I know this isn't one of the questions. I just finished library school and I. Uh, was working a part-time job and I got a second part-time job with the government of Canada in a law library in the Department of Justice. Like I know this sounds really fancy, but it was an incredibly boring job, very boring, and they wouldn't let me really do anything of any sort of responsibility. I was sort of getting spoon-fed these little menial tasks. I mean, I was getting very paid very well to do it, but it was very boring. And the lady that I was working with, um, she was a knitter. So every lunch hour, she would knit. And we would sit there at our desks and have lunch. And so I was kind of intrigued. So she taught me how to knit over the lunch hours. I just started with basically a dishcloth. And, uh, you know, I would do it, take it home and work on it. Uh, and I was only working there every second day. so. Of course, I would kind of immediately forget how to do it when I got home and I would have to look it up. And then I would bring it back two days later to work and she would fix all my mistakes and my holes. And I was wondering why it was turning into a triangle. But I just kept doing it because what she was knitting was far more interesting than what I was knitting. Then we went to a convention, a conference of some type, and there was a whole bunch of librarians and they were all knitting. So it was a thing, but it got me, I really got into it really quickly and wasn't a fan of the job. I didn't stay in that job very long. In fact, I left the job to go work in a school library and they just could not believe, could not believe I was going to leave a government job to go work in a school. Hmm. But I did and it was a good decision for me and it was a good fit. And it was a permanent full-time job where they couldn't offer me more than a term job three days a week. So 
To me, it was no brainer and I'm glad I did. But I'm also glad I had that job because that is how I learned how to knit in 2007. Great question, even though I added on to it. Thank you. Okay, I guess it is time to um, find out what Kathy gave me today. This is so cute. This is like a little drawstring bag. I cannot believe we are on day eight. Okay, let's take you down here to see what I'm opening. Excuse the crinkles. I definitely want to reuse this bag. It's very cool. Thank you. Okay, I have two things here. Let's do the yarn first. I can tell this looks like another Ella Ray, and this is a beautiful, I can get this open. A beautiful green color. Ooh, that is lovely. So this is the same, oh, upside down. This is the same brand of yarn, Superwash Classic Wool, that I got in that pink color. This is a lovely color. I don't know if it says, it just says color 079. Beautiful. I wonder if it will look good with that pink, if I could work with the pink. That is gorgeous. Thank you. And there is another little something something. In a cute little bag. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little off. I'm just I feel like my brain isn't processing processing as quickly as it should be today. I wish so too. Let me get this out of here. This is so, so this goes through here. I don't know if I can do it. Talk amongst yourselves, talk amongst yourselves. I'll do it after. So here is a little piece of ribbon and a very cute Christmas ornament that says, I wish you lived next door. Isn't that adorable? And it feels like it's um feels like ceramic-y almost. I wish you lived next door too. We've been uh video chatting as as this little series has been going on, and you know, so oh I got it through. So this is what it's that is so beautiful to go on the tree. Thank you. Yes, we've been video chatting a couple times and it was so neat to kind of, you know how you watch someone on YouTube and you you feel like you know them because you, like you're watching them, right? But it was so nice to just be able to chat with her and get to know her a bit better offline. And um, we are both really, really enjoying this, like so much. You guys have no idea. And we're so happy that many of you are coming to both of our channels to watch us. Oh, I just love it. Thank you. It has been so hot here and kind of gross and muggy. Like we're catching up to other parts of Canada that have had those really crazy heat waves. And um, I really enjoy being in the screen room, but when it's the weather's like this, I just don't want to go outside and I don't really want to cook. Well, I don't really ever want to cook, but, you know, Hubs is the cook of the family, but he's not feeling well today. So let's uh, let's go in the kitchen and just make something simple like I'm subject subjecting you to this again. Sorry.
have my next garment to go on the clothesline, the garland clothesline. Look at this. Look at it. There's a few things we still need to do. We're going to be putting buttons here, the front of the suspenders, and we're going to put a button here to close his pants. And then now that I have all these crochet skills, we are going to do a single crochet all the way around the bottom here. I think I might have to just double check a video because I haven't done it in like a few weeks. Uh, with some blingy kind of yarn to finish off his suspenders and his pants. And then we're going to hang him on the, on the clothesline. So why am I, as a new crocheter, and this is my second time holding a crochet hook using eyelash yarn on a project when you cannot see the stitches? You know why? Because it's fabulous, that's why. If you have come back every second day, you know that I am doing a gift away for Christmas in July for one lucky subscriber to win a mini advent of 12 skeins of hand dyed yarn. These will include different types of yarn. I don't know if you noticed this yet, but it's all Canadian hand dyers. Hopefully maybe something that you've never tried before. And the hand dyed yarn is fingering weight. It is 100% wool or a wool nylon blend. It has yardage anywhere from 20 yards in total up to 50 yards. And it is a myriad of colors. It is not a selection that is coordinated to necessarily go with each other. But hopefully you will be able to find a scrappy project or use it for socks, hold two together to make it a DK into something, Play with it as you will. And you do not have to wait until the holidays to open it. It can be a holiday the day you receive it. Well, this is not a Christmas thing. We're just calling this Christmas in July so I can get some yarn. Let's be real. You need to leave a comment on every episode in this series, which started back on July the 2nd. So if you have not done so, I am keeping track. So go back and look and I am making sure that I heart it and I am leaving a comment when you leave a comment. You, this is how you will know that I have ticked you off for that date. Let's look and see what I'm wrapping today. Thank you so much for joining me again today. As I'd mentioned, this has just been such a thrill and a fun time to have the month of July to spend with all of you. Please go over to my friend's channel, Yarn With Heart. I have linked her below to see what she is opening from me every second day. And until, I don't know what day of the week it is. Until next time, my friends. Bye for now.